Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk to you about the tweeter's alignment with the ear and why it is important. But before we begin, if you're into home theater videos, audio and video, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. So recently in my shop, I built about a six inch extender for my Santa speaker stands. I made one for my surround left and my surround right speaker. You see one of them pictured right there. And I did this so I could get the tweeter in line with my ear. So when I'm sitting down, that's pretty much dead on shooting at my ear. Now the reason I did this was to get better on axis response from my speaker. And it's important that generally in an optimized home theater environment, you want all the tweeters in your system at ear level with the exception, of course, of the Dolby Atmos height speakers. Now, as you know, tweeters handle the high frequencies of the sound spectrum that you're hearing, and they tend to be very directional, which is why I wanted to get them at ear level, so I could just get a more immersive experience, better sound staging, and just really enjoy my movies, music, and games that much more. Now, I feel you can benefit from this regardless of what type of speaker you have and how it's tweeter is designed. Some may be a horn-loaded tweeter, some may be a coaxial type tweeter, like in the case of my Kefs right here, where the tweeter is centered in the mid-range driver, which also acts as the waveguide, much like a horn does. Or even if you just have that standard old-school speaker design where the tweeter is above or below the mid-range driver. No matter what type of speaker you have, I feel like you can benefit from aligning the tweeter with your ear. Generally speaking, when you have an engineer who is mixing together the soundtrack that you're hearing in a movie, um, generally they have their speakers at ear level. When you have all the tweeters in your speakers at ear level, that's a much greater representation of what the sound engineer was intending for you to hear and how he heard it. All right, so let me show you how I made this thing and what it looks like up close. Okay, so here it is. It's nothing too fancy. I just whipped it up out of some scrap plywood that I had that was already glued together this height from a different project. Um, I don't really care too much that it doesn't match 100% the wood that's already on here. This is a cherry and this is just plywood, but I did stain it to look like it and I did try to shape it to match as close as possible. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It is very sturdy, very strong, and it did add about an extra six inches to the overall speaker height which got the tweeter right where I wanted to. Overall I'm very happy with the difference that adding that extra six inches to the speaker stand made. I've already managed to watch a movie and play a few video games and it's definitely made a big difference in the overall immersiveness and just everything I'm hearing. I can hear it much more clear and it's just more detailed. So I feel like this is something that could benefit anyone with any type of system in any type of room to improve their overall soundstage and just enjoy their movies and music and games that much more. Just by simply getting all your tweeters in your system aligned with your ear, you'll be surprised at the difference that it makes. So that about wraps it up. If you guys liked this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're into home theater, audio and video, I post a new video monthly. I greatly appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video drops. As always, thanks for watching and happy listening.